Yaw titty. Uh, Y-A-W-T-T-Y. Yet another way to track you. Believe it or not, the color and amount of ambient light <laughs> striking your phone. <laughs> well, that's probably unique to lo the location, yeah, right? That's exactly the problem. And, you know, the, the, the web guys, they're just having so much fun adding new APIs. So this is the, the ambient light sensor extension of the generic sensor API. First of all, there's a generic sensor API. Okay. You know, pre pre before long, it'll be like if, if your hand that you're holding the phone has a tremor, it'll, oh, look, it'll pick that up on the accelerometer and then, you know, track you or maybe send you to the, nah, <laughs> I don't want to say anything that's ageist. But anyway, um, so we, everyone already understands what this means, right? We, it is now possible for a web page to determine the exact color and amount of light measured in red, green, and blue lux levels, which your phone is exposed to. So if that's code running in an ad and you then go from one site to another, although it cannot be used to uniquely identify you, it can be used to disambiguate you. That is, if and that, and as we know, the, the, the Panopticlick site worked by aggregating a whole bunch of individually weak signals into something that was shockingly unique. When you took all of these, the, these, the aggregation of, of weakness, you ended up with something that actually did identify an individual. And so, yes, light is subject to change. You, you, you change your position, you put your phone down, you know, anything happens, you're, you're, you're going to get a different amount of light. But in the interval between switching pages, the light level probably doesn't change. And so that's one more thing, one more parameter that someone could use to note that, oh, you know, we weren't sure if this was the same guy, but look, exactly the same amount of red, green, and blue probably is. So, yaw titty. Yet another way to track you. Yeah. Wow. You know, and this is the problem, is that I'm not sure how useful this is for a website to know how much phone is or how, how much light is striking your phone. You know, maybe what? It enlarges the font size in dim light because it knows that our human eyes have to iris open wider which lowers our resolution, so we need a larger font and dimmer light. I, I mean, you know, you can make up use cases for this, but it just seems like now they're like they run out of really important things to do. <laughs> and so and so they're like, we well, do it because let's, uh, we can. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's just well, what haven't we put in there yet? Yeah, let's yeah. see. Oh, how about the dripping water API? Well, that's right. Because <laughs> we need a kitchen sink somehow, so it's got to have the dripping water API. The uh, you know the um, the iPad Pro has this uh, f to act and actually mo modifies the uh, screen temperature based on ambient light to balance it, and the rumor is strong that so will the new iPhone announced tomorrow. So um, boy, I don't it's not gonna get. I don't think they're gonna get any money for me for ambient light sensors. No, no. For, I need for, a headphone for the, jack. For the new phone. Yeah, I, I think we we really hit that. Peak. point where the, peak. the phone I have is absolutely fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this one. And it has no, a headphone jack, phone. which is pretty I, awesome. I, yeah. I, yeah, it does everything I want. And, yeah. you know, maybe in, in another few years when the battery gets tired, you know, if that's a problem. But I, I don't, I've never like off of, uh, off of a plug for more than a few hours right. the way I operate. Right. So right. anyway.